The Crucible of Courage event has come back to Call of Dragons and with it the opportunity to get 10 universal tokens, 14 gold stars, 12 gold keys, and so much more. So stick around in this video for I'll be teaching you the best ways to go to do this event to maximize your gains and minimize your losses. What's up guys, Meower here back with a brand new video. So the Crucible of Courage has come back. It is very similar to the Karak event of ROK if you're familiar with that. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry, I'll still explain it as if you're completely new and still have no idea how the event works. So the Crucible of Courage event is a PvE uh, event, which consists of up to 50 stages, depending on how progress, how far progress your progress is in the server and the season you're currently in, depends on. And it also has multiple stages, including certain boss stages that I will be explaining the mechanics of each stage. So without further ado, Let's get this ball rolling. Uh, by the, uh, also, if you like content like this, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, share the video with your friends. It really helps out the channel. It helps me as well. So with that out of the way, let's get started. You'll see that the Crucible has two main skills that applies to almost every single stage. The first is Fire Fury. Natural energies fill the Crucible with flames that ignite Warrior's Passion. When the Crucible Horde Legion has less than 50% HP or units remaining, its attack is increased by 50%. And the second, the second skill is that the Flame Totem. The Shaman summons a Totem in the Crucible, so this only applies if there is a Shaman present. So let's see if we can find the stage that has a Shaman. Where's the Shaman? Where's the Shaman? The Witch Troll. The witch sword is usually considered the shaman. That increases the horde legions to have their attack increased by 25% every 5 seconds up to a maximum of 75%, which is pretty big, but it's still manageable. So the way the crucible works is that you challenge a certain level. Let's say, for example, we're going to use level 33, and then we're going to have level 35 to demonstrate because they're all end up the same. We're going to check out its skills. So you'll see here there's an infantry march and there's a crucible mage march. We're going to check out their skills. You can see here that the infantry just has a standard cycling attack that deals physical skill damage to all the legions surrounding it. And the mage has wings of war. The war shaman summons a powerful hurricane dealing continuous magic damage. By the way, I might have provided wrong information a little bit early in the video. The shaman is consistent of every single um, the march from the Crucible of Courage that you challenge. So forget about the bit I said that only considers the Witch Trolls. That is completely false on my part. So I do apologize for that. Anyway, let's resume. So we'll see here. I'm going to send out five marches. I'm going to use my infantry to engage. And I'm going to use my cavalry march to go to go a little, a little bit back and have it focus the mage march. And then I'm going to completely nuke the Mage March first, since that will do the higher amount of damage. Then I'm going to start focusing down the Infantry March. I'm not going to use my Kingslayer for now. I'll wait a little bit till the damage is lower so I get off the Execute. Because once you get off of the Execute on uh, Kingslayer, you immediately kill it when it's less than 10% HP, which is pretty significant. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're going to keep... We're going to kill this uh, completely easily. Then we're going to use the Execute... Uh, around this marker, which should kill it. There we go. Oh, I used it a little bit too early. Not a problem. We still managed to kill it and still get a lot of rewards in XP that even one of my commanders managed to level up from this. It's pretty good. So as you can see, I used my infantry to take the main bulk of the damage, though this only works when they are crucible tagged uh, mon mon monsters or marches rather when it's ice lizard or venomous lizard these do not have a set ai with them that you can just intercept them because usually they'll just ignore your melee marches and go straight for your range marches so you're going to end up fighting clustered up anyway so i might as well just brute force it however before you brute force it try to focus down the one that will be more dangerous so as soon as this is done we're going to go over the skills of the next level 
and refresh. So we're gonna we're gonna summon an ice lizard and a venomous lizard. So we're gonna take a look at both of their skills and see who is more dangerous. The one that does higher damage, that's the one we're gonna focus down and kill first, and then we're gonna kill the secondary. So we'll see here the venomous lizard does damage, damage, has a defense break for by 30% for 12 seconds, which is massive. And finally, an AoE DPS skill. So we're gonna probably focus down the venomous lizard first. The ice lizard is not as dangerous since it only summon the biggest issue skill is this one, the Call of the Cold, which only summons two water elementals and such, which is not a problem, but do make it a rule of thumb that you check out their skills first and try to kill whichever you deem most dangerous. If you meet marches with the Shaman, you're definitely going to have to focus the Shaman out first and kill it so that you prevent it from constantly healing. I'm going to finish up this stage real quick, then I'm going to show you how the boss stage works. And you can just follow this the same pattern over and over again all the way till you're done with the Crucible event. So you can guarantee yourself the 10 gold heads, 14 stars, and 12 gold keys, and so much more rewards. Plus the certain XP over time and a lot of dust as well. So overall, it's a great event. It's really good. Anyway, let's just skip all the way to the, all the, way to the boss fight. So we've been in stage 34, and now we're ready for a boss fight. Now the way you can you can take two routes for the boss fight. One where you just swarm it and keep dipping acid down, keep refreshing your marches, going all the way till you kill it. Or you can choose to rally it, which I which is the option too, where I highly recommend. You use your infantry as a shield, you ask your allies to help you, because every single ally that will help you is gonna receive some really good rewards as well. It is worth it though. And then after your allies come to help, so here I'm waiting for some allies to come arrive. But it depends on how strong you are and how strong your uh, your march can be. However, usually it is much easier than you would expect as, soon, as long as you have a single rally just tanking the brute force and then using your other four marches or three marches or however many marches you have to just nuke it down. So we're going to fast forward to, my, to the rally hits and I'll show you how it works. So as you can see here, my my rally has hit the Crucible Lord, and now I'm going to swarm it with the rest. If you just let the rally fight it solo, you're not going to kill it. You need to swarm it along with your other marches while it's tanked by the main infantry march, or rather the infantry rally, so that it draws away all the attention and the only damage you're taking is just counterattack damage. However, counterattack damage is not as effective in PvE content as it is in regular PvP content. That's why you'll notice I'm not even taking any damage from my range marches, I'm only taking damage from my cavalry march. Since this is, after all, a melee march that is considered the horde, and the Crucible horde only has a healing uh, skill, so it's not even that effective at all. It's just a matter of time before I kill it. And if you just keep rings and repeating the last steps, for every single stage you'll find yourself beating this in no time you can also pick up some special runes from the map around behemoths for example i picked up the mana stone of life level 5 which gives me 10 percent hp i can also activate my war frenzy if i scout for example this fight so if i scout it here it will actually give me a three percent legion attack which will also help me shred this even quicker just gonna drop my tree of Arbon to heal my rally and heal my regular troops. And yeah, that's pretty much the easiest way to go through the Crucible of Courage and win yourself a lot of rewards for minimum effort. If you like this video, please drop a like, share it, uh, comment down below if you have any questions. I would be more than willing to help you out. Don't forget to join our Discord. And please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Meow meow.